clickbait, bro. Let's do it, baby. <laughs> From New York and on the new Hot 97 app, Ebro in the Morning. On Hot 97. Ebro in the Morning, Laura Styles, Rosenberg's mm. on assignment. The assignment, get along with your in-laws on vacation. <laughs> Push your T's in the building. What's up? up yeah, yeah, yeah. What up, 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 Yeah. Let's get right into it. Come uh, on, man. Track seven on the new project entitled Daytona Out Now. Yes. We're going to play it for the people immediately. Push your T for the next half an hour here on Ebro in the morning. Okay. Maybe longer. We're going to get into album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're going to select cuts. I want to play Infrared at least two or three times just to... Do your thing. So people could digest it. But I want to start there, even though that's the last song on the album. Okay. Uh, I think... And I'm paraphrasing because I don't want to screw up the bars. Um, People were mad when I killed baby. They act like I killed a baby. Am I saying it right? No. How's it go? Um, I said, oh, now it's okay to kill baby. Ah, there you go. Niggas looked at me crazy like I really killed a baby. That's what it is. And you got to say it in those, like, inflections, so. But. got to practice a little bit. The point yeah. is that you went at baby talking about the deal with Wayne and how he's treating Wayne. And you've had many things to say about Drake being signed well, and signing this one and signing that well, one. The, the, you know, when, when you talk about that baby line, I want to make that one clear. I was actually speaking about how, you know, when it was, when it was my... You know, when we were going through that, you know, that that time, that issue, um, how everybody was like, damn, Push, why you, you know, what's up? Why mm -hmm. you why you saying this? Why you saying that? Like, why you doing that? Right? And then Ross, more recently, had like, you know, a situation in where he spoke on it. On right? his album, which on you his... salute him in the following lines. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? You, like, you know, when you were saying it, I want you to, like, sort of keep it all in context. So I saluted Ross in the joint saying, yeah. um, you know, what he was saying was pure. I respect that. You were just speaking, you know, you were saying was what he was saying was pure. Mm -hmm. But just, 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 you know, showing people like, damn, just a minute ago, everybody was like, yo, push chill. And then Ross did it. And it was like, yeah, Ross, we... You right about that. You know what I'm saying? So on and so forth. Which he he was. But it still doesn't get around the the remaining, I guess, or the the relevant issue of baby and the cash money, young money contracts that Right, right, right. Which Laura, you were asking about. Yeah, because I was like, where okay, where I just wanted to I didn't remember the root. I remember of course Mr. Me Too and and that whole, you know, the whole Wayne situation. So I was like, yeah. okay. But I was trying to figure out the root, where it all came from. And I was like, where did Drake jump in? Um, you know, I feel like the I feel like the Drake thing more recently was just about the uh, two birds one stone record. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of talk about the record or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, I guess you know, speaking his truth, um, uh, questioning my validity to the streets and so on and so forth within that verse. Um, and, you know, it's it's fine. That's what it was. But, you know, if we're going to question things, we, we we need to question them. Now now it's my turn to question. And you brought up uh, Quentin right. Miller and not writing rhymes. 100%. Yeah. Like, you know, because that's, that's my truth as I see it. Like, that's... That's laid out. That's of, of that's course. just laid out on the table. And and so, you know, obviously people talk a lot about beef. And this doesn't this there's real street beef and this is just music industry, people having opinions on the culture and disagreements and business issues that are unresolved, right? Is that what this is or is this really a problem? No. Or is this just sparring? Yo, this I mean, when you say really a problem, what do you mean? Like like, if I see somebody, it's going to be a problem. Like, oh, man, I see everybody. Yeah. I stay in the Four Seasons in Toronto all the time. Mm -hmm. I see everybody. I see all the friends, all the homies, everybody. And so this is just rappers doing rapper shit. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I mean, you know, in response to Two Birds, One Stone, I feel like, you know, he, he was doing his rapper thing. Mm hmm and it's infrared time, so I'm going to do my rapper thing. <laughs> the Pusha T album right. is available. Uh, you should go pick this thing up. It's seven solid records. Daytona. Which, yes. It's called Daytona, and we're going to talk about why only seven. And we're also going to talk about this Kanye verse. Let's get into it, man. Because this Kanye verse is... Uh, Let's get into it. Let's important. talk about it. 
It's important. Let's talk about it, clickbait, Ebro. Yeah. Let's do it, baby. I'm clickbait now? You're clickbait. You know you clickbait, oh, Ebro. Talk about you it. are so wild. <laughs> it sounds like your, your rhymes is clickbait. Let's on this go, album. baby. Let's get it let's in, Let's go, man. clickbait, it's bro. Ebro in the morning. <laughs> clickbait, bro. Let's do it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like there's been some talk behind the scenes, man. It's Ebro in the morning. They calling me Clickbait Bro now. We call him Clickbait Bro. <laughs> but, that's kind of funny. but were there any falsehoods? No, no, no. Never. Yeah. Never, never, never. And that's 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 one thing we respect about you, Ebro. You you talk straight. Yeah. We respect it. That's why, you know. That's why we come up here and, you know. It's love. And I've I known mean, you I do, a long I time. I do anyway. Yeah. My, my homeboy Rosenberg ain't here, though. Where yeah. he at? He's, uh, he's with his wife. They, they're they in Paris. In Paris. I we know didn't know that the album was coming. I'm sure if he knew that the album was coming this I fast. I sent it to him. Pause. I sent it to you first. Yeah. Sent it to him. Yeah, he was yeah, at graduation. Yeah. He was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he was about to board a plane. He was like, man, make sure I get it before I board yeah. this plane. Yeah, yeah, well, nah. we was trying to figure out. It. I was trying to lock you down. I wasn't sure if you were going to make it or not. It was a lot of yes, no, yes, no. Make what? The date? This interview, yes. Why not? That's just planning, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Not never, intentional. Yeah, I don't know. No, 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 no. Not intentional. Um, yeah. Why only seven tracks? Man, that is definitely a Kanye West question. But I can tell you what I think. Okay. Um, you know that was a that was definitely a big uh, a, a big debate between us two. Um, I was like, man, I don't feel it should be seven. I feel like you know I should give people a full. You know, a, a full portion. He was like, "Man, what's a full portion? Why are you putting, you know, constraints on things? You 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 don't think you can free get your what you mind, push yeah, free your free. mind, think, think freely, freely. <laughs> think freely. You know, <laughs> no chains. You know, all of that get type off of the talk, plantation, right? push. All, right? all, all, listen, yeah. all but that he said. Pretty much but, that. But he wanted to yeah. say that, but you would have been yeah. like, who's, who's yeah. really on the yeah. plane? Then y'all would have got into something else. Listen, so um, he was just like, you know, I think you can really get it across. And seven, and um, yo man, I'm just feeling really, I'm feeling really strongly about the seven number, man. Really think about it. I'm telling you, I'm like, man, we got joints, like we got a whole bunch of joints, like let's let's give them what they need. So there yo, was definitely other records that didn't make it. That you're yeah, like, but what about yeah. this one? Yeah, totally, totally. So, so there is when you guys listen to the album. If you haven't, we're gonna play some more records. We just played Infrared. We're gonna play some more. Uh, I wonder if Kanye's on his Supreme Mathematics. Is that what he's on? Why he wanted to go with seven? Yo, he he. Listen, I'm I I I I'm gonna agree with that. You think he he's definitely on his... said he definitely told me verbatim. Yo, it's something about that number seven, man. I'm telling you, it's like it's the God's number, man. He, he definitely told me that. So, we'll, and we'll get into more of Kanye yeah, we'll West, too, because we got to cover that ground. Um, but I like the seven. I, I like how I it now flows. Like it too. I like how it flows. I like yeah. that it's concise. And I also like how sonically the records feel like they belong together. Right. In the album. It doesn't sound like a collection of songs. It sounds like this is a theme. Right, right, right. Um, 100%. Um, I, I, had to, I had to send that... that um, I got the master um, yesterday, and we were listening to it, and I had to send that very email like, bro, you was right. Seven is the way to go, you know. <laughs> it, it happens. It happens like that. Yeah. But, um, you know, um, super, super concise. I feel, like, I feel like that was his main objective to make sure that it was just one uh, sonic mood board that flowed like, like such. Then you got to think about it. Um, he literally did... Beat every beat top to bottom, right? Okay. Um, it's five projects, so it's it's it's, it's mine. He's coming to first. <laughs> Kitsy Ghost, Tim and Cuddy coming to eighth. Nas coming the fifteenth, and I believe Tiana the twenty second. Mm -hmm. Um, you know that's thirty five joints, and he's doing all of these joints. Mm. So it's like, you know, for him, I'm sure. It's a well, little strenuous. You know, um, removing whatever political and social commentary disagreements you have with Kanye West, everybody loves the music he produces, right? Facts. Um, and, you know, he's contributed a lot to hip-hop. Right. And 35 records from the good music family in a month, in a, in a month is, in a a, month. is, a, is a large it's a body of work. It's a treat. Yeah. And it feels like a movement. Was that, the, yes. was that what you guys was going for? For sure. I mean, it's... Um, it's the it's the new and improved version of Good Friday. 
Okay. Like when we were doing the yeah, Good Friday yeah, thing, yeah, yeah, it was right, like right, 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 you right. know. Um, that 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 we we're trying to sort of recreate that energy, but didn't know how to do it. Like people have like sort of toyed um, with that theme. Um, you know, music comes out frivolously every day, so it can't really can't really feel like that anymore. Right. We had to sort of find a new way to do it. Um, how much of these records were done recently? How many did you have in the bag? Like what? Um, uh, uh all of them were done pretty recent in regards to production. Mm. So was this part of those white was it Wyoming trips? Uh, Utah and Wyoming, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. What's out there, man? Some sort of resort. Absolutely. Or something? Po- yes. It's like a resort. A very, very expensive. So I resort. snowboard. I've snowboarded in Jackson Hole. Is that where y'all are going a to very, Jackson Hole? Yes. Yes. One of those five star super resorts. I'm on, I believe. Okay. Something like that. Some real exquisite. And I'm only listen. I'm only saying this because you know. I, I have to pay for half of this. <laughs> it comes out and, of my and listen, budget. And let me just let you know, like, you know, you know, I'm Ebro, I'm at a point in my career, like, I know I know how to, like, do a cheap album, put money in my pocket. Yeah, yeah, you know, like, yeah. I know yeah. how to, like, you know how to, yeah, how to play yeah. that game. Yeah. Yeah, you spend a lot of money. I spend a lot of money, Ebro. <laughs> nah, Kanye ran you through your budget. <laughs> Kanye ran through your budget. You're like, nah, we're going way out. And you're going to spend your money. <laughs> How how does it um how does the relationship with Kanye West um well actually you know what let me say that different I know the relationship is Ask great. Ask it, Ebro. Come on, Ebro. No, no, no. Come I know on, the relationship is great, but when it comes to his political, and I don't even know if it's politics because it's not really. It's more social. Yeah. Right. Because you were heavily uh, in Still. line with Trump and politics. I mean, not Trump, but uh, with on. Hillary. That's right. And mass incarceration conversations yes. and yes. going to, to visit prison Barack reform. and prison reform. Yes. You've been on that prior to on the, now. this Meek Mill and yes. everything that's happened. You've totally. been on it, right? Yes. And involved in your local community and what's going on Facts. in DMV yes. and you're doing Shout it. Shout out my man, Tony Lewis. Tony yes. Lewis, yes. Yes. Um, but then here comes Kanye West, who I feel kind of came out the blue with some commentary about where he think feels like things are today. Right. How did you feel about that? Um, I was uh, totally against it. Now, Still am. Now, well, is hang this on, something? Laura, okay. Which which parts are you against? Uh, you know, for me, um, and you know my stance, and I have my own agenda. Like, my own agenda, I came under so much fire for even riding with Hillary, mm-hmm. right? But the way I looked at it, I was like, okay, boom, you got two, you got you got Hillary, you got Trump. Um, Hillary and her husband at the time, you know, had had basically, you know, raised their hands and said, hey, you know what? You know, um, we fucked up in the 90s. We, yeah, we really messed up in the 90s. And I felt like, you know, they needed, they needed our votes. And we're, you know, we're speaking to that. And I felt like, man, you know what? If I do this, maybe this is a way she'll get in. And this is a way we can hold her feet to the fire to, to, to you know, uh, for, to prison reform. And let me add to that. A okay. lot of people forget the amount of people Barack had got out of prison mm-hmm. on his way out of office. Mm-hmm. And Hillary going in planned to continue according to her words and right. what yeah. she said, right. that same agenda. Right. And so that's what, is that what you saw? That's what I was on. Okay. That's what, that was the whole, that was the whole, me- and I'm talking about, listen, I, I went to see Obama how many times? Th- yeah, three times, you know, before he got out. And um, this is the talk. Like, this is the real, Yeah. this is the conversation. Like, look, this is what you want. I mean, we go in there, we write down, he like, yo, what you care about? I'm talking about the table, all of us. What you just what you care about? That's all I want to know. And who's at this table? Just so Man, people. Man, it's myself. It's it's Timberland. It's it's Ross. It's it's um. Man, was that the was J Cole? Oh there? yeah, J Cole. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Cole. Uh, but uh, I feel Quali. like I saw Quali and Buster. Quali, Quali, yeah, yeah, yeah. Quali, Buster, Janelle. So that was the photo that time right. we saw that photo. Yeah, well, yeah, that was that was one time, right? Got it. Yeah, that was one time. That was the first time. Yeah. So, but, but there were other meetings yeah, after yeah. that. Yeah, hell yeah. And so uh, during the time we was all voting, you started to hear this blowback of like, well, Hillary in the '90s and super predators talk. Right. Do you feel in retrospect that that was a plant? Like, you know, now that we're learning about the bots and all of this internet bots, and do you feel like that was propagated by the Trump administration to 
undercut I, I, the Hillary I, I don't movement? Know. See, I don't, I don't, I don't know if that was. Um, I can't say that they did that. Um, she, like, man, you know, everything that you do and everything that you say in this this time and this generation, it comes back. That's right. Old tweets, all of old it. tweets, super predator talk, all that's gonna come back. Mm-hmm. Um, so many people were affected by that speech and 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 you know those those laws at that time. Man, I you know I can't even blame that one on him. That's right. I can't say that they fucked up. Yeah, <laughs> they fucked and up. And by the way, you know we've talked about I talked about when Tony Lewis was here too. Right. You know we talk about the black church and black politicians' involvement in telling the Clintons and okaying that speech and mm-hmm. to to get rid of gangs and crack at that time because they felt like it was so rampant. So it was black leadership involved in that as well. Facts. And and listen, and it was rampant. Yeah. Like it was. Yo, it was a, it was crazy. Now, yeah. like, let's not yeah. get snack brand new. Yeah, let's not act like yo on the, the like it was, it was Mayberry. Yeah, it was wild. Yeah, at that time, wrong way to go about it. You know, you know, uh, drastic times, drastic measures. Yeah, but um. I'm sorry. Did we lose? We no, lost. No, no, we going. But oh, okay. but so now Kanye comes out on stage and says, and I think we talked on the phone at this time. Okay. Because this was prior to him having to. He didn't. He, he went into. Uh, um, uh, I want to. I don't want to say rehab, but but he went after that tour. Remember, he shut the tour down, and it was he had to go go away. I don't know if it was rehab or not, but it was it was something like that. And I called you to check on him. Yes. I was like, "Yo, how's your guy?" You was like, "I'm going to check on him right now." Yep. Just hearing about it, I don't really know, but we going, you know, boom, boom. And on the stage, he said, "Look, I don't vote, but if I did, I would have voted for Donald Trump." Mm-hmm. How did you feel when you heard that? You know that uh, again, man. I mean, it wasn't. It's not like a, a a how do I feel thing. Everybody knows. Like I wasn't with it. I didn't. I mean, I didn't like it at all. It's not um totally against the movement that I feel me and my people um are with. Um, you know, dead wrong. Like, I'm assuming. Wrong. I'm assuming you've had these conversations. I would with totally. Him. We have like we got. Listen, we talk straight. Like me and him talk super straight. Like he tells me his ideas. I mean, listen. I feel and I feel like that's why I'm even the president of Good Music. I feel like I'm the president of Good Music because you know you say something to me, I'm gonna tell you something back. I'm right. gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you why it it's wrong. You know. I'm gonna tell you the point of view. I'm gonna. T- I'm gonna also tell you the point of view of other people and how people are gonna look at it. Um, you know, you know, we have, we have those, we have those conversations and I'm like, yo man, like the messaging in that is totally wrong, bro. And I, and I say like things like, you know, um, I'm not going to see anything good in, in that hat. I don't see anything good in that. I, you know, I look at that hat, that, that hat to me is the, is the new KKK hood. That's my opinion. Right. Like that's, that's you told him that. You feel the same. So when the tweets came out, you already knew that this was his mentality. You already know that this was his way of thinking. Yeah, and 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 to say, and and in all honesty, um, and I, you got to remember too, I'm privy to like, I'm privy to real conversations yeah. with him, like no camera, or nothing, so on and so forth. I feel like it's more, you know, I feel like where he he'll also say to me, man, you know, I fuck with Bernie. Like I, I fuck with Bernie principles. I fuck with the winner. Uh, you know the 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 I wasn't supposed the dragon to dragon energy. Yeah, <laughs> the dragon energy. Fuck <laughs> these sound bites, bro. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 you know, yeah. I fuck with the. Um, you know, I, I fuck with. But the that's fact why that, you call me clickbait, bro. Right? right that's why right. you say that is yeah. because these things come out. It, Yo, real. my man, you said this. It's real. But You're it's all true. No, it's real. It's, it's real. true. But that's why I asked him: any, any falsehoods and anything I'm no, saying no, up no, here? No, 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 and look, yes. and, and me and Kanye had our back and forth on social, and mm-hmm. on, and we talked privately too, and we talked for public consumption, mm-hmm. which he told me I could share. Mm-hmm. Um. You know, I, I told him, I was like, when you was in the lobby with Trump, you cooning, bro. That's cooning for cash. I know what you're doing. You're trying to get, you're trying to line up so that you're accepted by a side that may not accept you, right? And you're feeling like Barack didn't give you the time of day, and Trump is. And you're thinking about yourself. You're not thinking about the greater commonality of what we are trying to 
a, a reprogram out here. You're using these words reprogram, but that's not what you're doing. You're trying to organize and program alongside the, the, the people who organize for white supremacy. And I told him that. And he listened because I don't think at the time when I had the convo, that had been challenged because it wasn't the MAGA hat hadn't happened yet. Okay. Right? These things hadn't happened yet. Okay. So I was hitting him with things like, yo, my man, watch these people, man. They're 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 acting like they're for free thinking. They're acting like they're for all of this free thing. But are they? Because if they were, they would be independents. Right. They wouldn't be aligned with the GOP if you was really that free. Right. So what you saying? You wouldn't you wouldn't have any affiliation if you was really free. Right. You would just say the best candidate. Let me see what you're talking about. But people start to line up on the Democrat and the Republican side, right, and want to say this free thinking thing. I don't believe you. Okay. Now I'm not buying it. So we had that talk. Um, but were you pushing back? Like when you saw the photo with the MAGA hat, had you seen the hat around the studio? And did no. you have an opportunity to confiscate <laughs> it before so, he man. did that dumb no, ass man. shit? No, man. <laughs> I, I, I didn't actually. I, I, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. And, um, you know, I I think I was there soon after. I was soon there after the hat or after TMZ. Mm. Like right there, right after. Mm. Oh, that was so painful to watch. And, um, you know... Again, you know, a lot of straightforward convo. Like, it was just, you know, it was just <clears throat> real convo and, and me speaking to the insensitivity that people feel, mm -hmm. you know. And, um, you know, him him, him talking to me and, you know, we, we talking back and forth. And I'm like, hey, that, you know, that message doesn't come across like that. You know, you, you can't just, you know, you, you can't have... Twitter level conversation on camera. It's not you can't just get to the point when you're saying things that play into insensitive feels. So um you know like yeah man like I you know I, I don't I don't know like what 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 people like expect or want to hear from me in regards to that. I just you know well I'll say this and what I've said to people is you know we're not abandoning Kanye West. Well, but I good. understand I understand That's good. I understand if people don't buy a shirt or don't want to wear shoes or don't want to go to a concert, right? But to, in our community where we've had black Republicans, that's not a new phenomenon, right? Right. Um, we've had black folks in our family that have conservative ideals and you're like, yo, my man, what are you saying right now? Right, right, right. Like, that's not a new phenomenon either. Right. Um, and to have discourse amongst family members and community should happen. Right. But the responsibility, I think that's where people get hurt is because where we as outsiders to the close network feel like we're watching somebody lose their uh, lose themselves. And we want to feel like somebody can help him. Right? right. As if he needs help. But like I've told people, he may not need help. He might be living his best life right now. Um being the person that he is as he discovers whatever this new path is. Right. And I, I and let me tell you this. I, I really do feel like that. I feel like Ye is definitely living his best life. Um, I feel like he's going to address so much of this on his album. Like, he can't even, like... There's no way around it. There's no way. Do you like, feel like we all got trolled? Scoop. Scooby-doo. Poop. No, it's scoop, scoop it and poop. Okay, okay, right, right, right. Whoop scoop. You right. gotta do the whoop scoop. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, you know, that joint is I didn't, hard. I didn't so learn, I've been I playing didn't, it. I didn't learn. I didn't learn the what? bars. That's a hot one hundred Billboard smash. But you just asked me. <laughs> but you just asked me. Do I? You know, what do I feel about the trolling aspect of it? Who knows? We gotta see, man. Good music president right here. Making, right. Sure, making sure the marketing stays clean. Look, we were, I'm not going to front. We were worried about getting con like some MAGA bars. We were thinking about them. Like, what if Kanye comes out and this is his whole, like all the content of his music? Oh, you or, got MAGA bars on my, he gave you MAGA bars on mine. There's MAGA bars. We could play it right now. It's called uh, What Would Meek Do? What Would Meek Do? Yeah. Did you reach out to Meek for this? I didn't. I did, I did not. What happened was... Um, I got the beat. I heard. It, I loved it. I, I, and Meek was in jail. 
And I was like, man, see, Meek, Meek, if Meek was home, he would be able to do this. Lo and behold, Meek comes home. But I couldn't bring myself to ask him, Meek, to Meek, we need you on this. What would Meek do to right. see what Meek would do? <laughs> and you see he's with his son, his family. Right, right, right. Like... I couldn't do it. I couldn't well, do it. Well, and that was perfect for a remix because the mass oh, incarceration right. conversation. Oh, facts. This is set up Wait, for a, has a he, remix. Has he reached out? Does he know? Me, has he heard yeah, it? yeah. We, we, we were, uh, we were DM. We might have been DMing this morning. Okay. Yeah. Mm. What did he yeah. say? Nothing. Just um, he, he saw like an interview. Mm. Like, yo, that's fly. That was dope. Sounds like a remix is happening. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got something else for Meek, though. I don't even know if we, I don't know if we want to touch this. It's, it's whatever. We, we got joined. On this album, there's a lot of samples. I, I'd love to hear, um, did 444 and No ID's production of reusing the sample, which, you know, No ID and Kanye have a relationship. Right. Did that make it feel like, Bringing the sample back, did that give Kanye that confidence to get back to the chop? Um, I, I of think, the samples. I, I think. Um, I think that is um, the actual ch uh, chopping and samples are his. Uh, that's where he's home at. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know this 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 whole process, this whole process started with him going to like Amoeba Music, buying you know a thousand records or so. Might be more than that, actually. And just listening, listening. And just listening. And then within that, you know, we, we did that, and then we would make a list of just joints that we just loved. He was like, yo, man, just make a list. Give me 25 that you love. And he then he, he'd make a list of 25 or 50. Mm -hmm. Then we put them together, and he'd be like, yeah, I feel that. I feel like glaciers are ice. Okay, boom. That was pie. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. boom. Mm -hmm. You know, this is what you want. Ah. Mm -hmm. So within that, within that whole little process, we were finding the sound that he was searching for through the samples. Within that, after that, he found he was finding my album and found Tiana's album at the same time. Mm -hmm. Those were the first albums he found. Then I think he developed his sound for Kissy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Develops his his sound for himself, and Nas's joint is just that's him just fanning out. I feel like he 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 took he took from the joints that I've heard, and I've heard like three or four, right? He took all the strongest moments that he thought were Nas's, and then just you know found a different way and updated it and. and it's, 2028 Nas is crazy. Is uh, your bro, our bro, Kanye West, really running for president? Oh, I don't know about that, man. <laughs> I be seeing that online. I don't, he don't. He never said that. So when you go to the studio in the office, it's not like <laughs> no man. campaign no, prep man. posters. No man. no man. It's a whole bunch of it's a whole bunch of sneakers, whole bunch of samples. <laughs> music equipment, man. No, no. Kanye 2024. No. Clothes. It doesn't <laughs> say Trump West 2020. No, man. Oh, no, man. Chill. Stop. I'm chill. Stop. Look at that. No, man. Don't put no extra on them. <laughs> Don't put no extra, no extra on them. It's already yeah, bad it's, enough. Listen, please. It's no extra. Yeah. Besides <laughs> Kanye's <laughs> verse, why did you, why only Ross has the only only other feature? Ross is is one of the only one of the few artists that I can send a record to. And get back a flawless verse. And I don't have to, I don't got to deal with it. I don't got to. Texturally, uh, and I guess contextually too, the wordplay and the type of verbiage. Yes. That you and Ross construct your rhymes is very, it's like cousins. Yeah, yeah. It's very expensive rap. Luxury. It's luxury. Luxury rap. <laughs> it's, it's super so luxury. expensive. And and it's so it's dope because, you know, on um I like to say that my vocals cut through a lot, you know, in a higher frequency. Ross is the polar opposite, deeper, bassy. Yeah. And it I don't know, man, that that um that marriage always works sonically. Would you guys ever do a full collaborative effort? I, we never talked about that, but I, I, I would. He, he's de like Ross is like one of my one of my favorites. Like, well, you think the people would be here for a, a Pusha Ross album? Yeah, for sure. What would you want to? Would it be a group? Would you guys like form a group for a minute <laughs> and go on tour? I don't, I don't know, man. I mean, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would definitely want to tour with it for sure. What would what would you if you had to like make a list of names? Just and we just freestyle. It's all hypothetical, clickbait. Um, <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> what would the name of the group be? Man, I come on, man. Just I, you know. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh Drug Dealers Dream. You guys would have great ad libs. It'd be a lot of yes and yeah. Ugh. Mm. like mm. Yeah. Be a lot of noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of grunts. Grunt game on gr- a thousand. Any touring plans? The what grunt are you touring game. Plans That's the name of the album. Man, I've had a couple touring talks. I, I actually had a, a talk with Nas, me and him going yeah. out. Um, so that's that's in the works. No, I mean, we, we like, I, like I said, I just left them. Uh-huh. And, you know, in finishing my album and him finishing his up now. We were like, yo. And Nas like, is in there with Ye. They in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they there. Did Was Nas in any of the arguments? Was he ever present when you and Kanye going back and forth? No. Nas chime in on? No. Yeah, man, I mean, that MAGA hat was they, trash, fam. They, they, they have their own talks, you know, as far as all of that yeah. goes. When we talk about stuff like that, I just. Yeah. Have you heard any of the Nas, Kanye back and forth debates? No, 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 I haven't. I really haven't. I'd be interested. I'm, I'm interested to hear what that's about. I know. Bait bro. Look at Bait bro. Going. Bait bro going. <laughs> Look, Pusha T, um, new album available. Uh, we we got to the Kanye record. We got to the Ross record. We played Infrared where you addressed many things. Um, uh, we got to get to the Santeria record. Santeria record. Right. They was questioning your Spanish. Who's the person singing in Spanish on it? That's Shake, an uh, artist signed to good music. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, how was her Spanish, Lord Styles? Did you how hear the it? record? It didn't bother me. Because I was in the studio with Cast One and Lewis, and they Spanish. They're like, uh, who's is she really speak Spanish, or is she just, they taught her how to speak oh, Spanish? Oh, no, she, she, she. She's Spanish for real? Yeah. Oh, okay, because, you know, Spanish <laughs> people get particular. Oh, listen, and, uh, yeah, this is You nah. know, because Dominican Spanish is different oh, than different. Cuban Spanish, well, different than Spanish Spanish, shake. different than... Yeah, Shake. It's different. Here? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm not, you know. I don't speak Spanish. That's why I'm asking. Yeah. I defer to Laura. Well, we could talk about it. But let's play. We're gonna play that Santeria joint. Uh, no Pharrell on a t- on an entire Pusha T album. Right. Um, obviously you're signing good music, but was that? Did you even consider putting a Pharrell record? Are there Pharrell records that you yeah. had? And you was like, ah, not for this. Yeah, 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 totally. Um, you know the 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 process the process of of me just making an album is I go out. Go to producers, get find everything I love, write to it, bring it back to Ye. He'll go through that and say, yo, I like this, I like that, boom, boom. And then he'll give me a batch of beats, some from him, some from other people. I think you sound good on these. I go lay those, bring it back, and I'll be like, yo, this is what I think the album is. So um, once that process happened, who's was vibing with the album for like two days. On the third day, um, I, I go back and meet him in Calabasas, and he's like... Um, Yo, I was riding with the album last night, man. You know, I think I could do these beats all better. Like, just myself. Like, I feel like I could just... That's the type of album I feel like you need. Like, something that just sounds like one, you know, one body of work. Now, in, in dealing with other producers, you do your best. Right. To like, hey, you know, this this record sort of meshes with that record. Right, 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 right. So right. on and so forth. But, you know, you can't. You can't really duplicate that. You can get close. Yeah, but yeah, you can't yeah. Really get it never it. crossed your mind though. Like, okay, <clears throat> if I only get a few Kanye records, I'm gonna go over here and talk to Pharrell, see if we can oh, get yeah. a couple more. No, no, um, no. Listen, e- like, I'm in LA a lot. Every time I'm in LA, I, there's not one time where I don't go to the studio with Pharrell, and I don't care who he got a session with. He, if, if like he's in there cooking up, um, if he's working with somebody, you know, we in there just vibing back and forth and 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 I'm playing them, you know, things that I like, things that, you know, that I'm listening to, so on and so forth. It's always a session with him. I got, bro, I got plenty of joints in my phone of just us. Mm. You on your album, which is available right now. Yes. Um, go pick it up. It's called Daytona. You yes. switched the title in the last yes. 25th hour. I did, I did. Why? Um... I mean, you yeah, kind of explained it on social media. Yeah, but, but I, I just felt that I felt that King Push, you know, that's a moniker that I go by. That's what people call me. But it wasn't representative of, of, of how I felt about this whole process. And I feel like what the fans are getting from Daytona as an album um, is you're witnessing two artists, myself and Ye, having the luxury of time. And mm. this is what you got. Daytona, Daytona Rolex is my favorite watch. There you go. You got what you got on right now. I got presidential today. Oh, it's rich guys. It's, it's about Thanks. 15, 16 of these though. So just, you know, I'll, I'll switch out. If I'm going to have more interviews, I'm going to go switch out so I can. Wow. Know, shit, right? My afternoon watch. Wow. On the album, uh, go get it. 
Pusha T, it's available, Daytona. Uh, you say, quote, if we go by connections made, I can still climb ladders when, when complexions, complexions fade. fade. White on white, that's the tester. Black on black, that's the Tesla. See these diamonds in this watch face? All that shit came from pressure. Lord. Yeah. Um... I feel like on this album, you're reestablishing the fact that not only are you wealthy and established in this game and you're not going anywhere, but you've also feel like, and I guess somewhat like Cole addressed on the 1985 record, there's a lot of clowns out here. It's a lot of puppets. It's a lot of people not handling their business right. It's a lot of people that go on the quick routes in the game. It's a lot right. of tomfoolery, if right. you will, taking place. Talk about what you're seeing in hip hop right now that you would like to you know, coach on. I feel I feel like um I feel like my my calling in hip hop at this stage of my career and this stage of my game is to is to um you know uh bring bring more of the younger talent to the forefront. Um taking a job at good sort of help with that. Help me, you know, seeing my way through, you know, these executive positions. Um, you know, soon soon come new label for myself. Um, that's the one thing, and I feel like I feel like being open to to the youth and new talent is what has kept me in this game so far. I feel like all the, all of my favorites, all of the greats, '80s, you know, rap artists that that are like the forefathers everybody loves. I feel like every last one of them, they did not embrace the next generation coming, and that's why their lifespan was so short. And mind you, these guys were goat god level. Artists. I mean, I'm talking about their bodies of work are incredible within that window. Right. You looking at somebody who's been here 16 years now, like, you know, three group albums, three solo albums. But it doesn't seem like you are embracing everything, though. It seems like you've drawn, well, it feels like you've drawn somewhat, you don't stand next to all rappers. There's people that you don't. You know. No, no, no. I don't. I don't stand next to everything, but I stand next to everything with a skill set. And I feel like I feel like people, people are so quick to say, are, are always so quick to say, man, that's trash rap, and they don't recognize the skill set in it. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I liken it. You, you gonna understand? I liken it to the hyphy movement. Mm-hmm. I used to sit at home, rap city, uh, you on TV, whatever, and be mad as hell when something. From the Bay came on. Mm-hmm. Mad as hell. From Virginia, don't ain't been nowhere in my life. You know, like, this gets on what my nerves. This? What is this? Yeah. It's stupid. Ah. Yeah. Right, right, right. Boom. Hit, get in the rap game. Go to the Bay. Prettiest girls in the world. Hell, down in their ass, making this ugly-ass face, dancing at me. Partying. Partying. <laughs> Thought it was the greatest thing I've ever experienced Because you, you lived life. it. You experienced it, it. Seen it in it. Yeah. People don't, like, you can then, appreciate but, anything that you live in. I'm still outside. I still got to go to the trap club. I still got to go everywhere. And see it. So what, see artist, it. what new artist do you feel strongly about? Right now? Yes. Man, Gunna. Gunna Gunna's my favorite right now. Lil Baby's my favorite right now. Those are those are my two that I'm listening into to in this moment. 100%. I just, totally on my I just discovered Lil Baby when the album dropped. I had oh, never man. Learned. Listen. I was late. Listen. But that's, you know, I'm always late. That's why they call me the old man. <laughs> but I do, but there are people who are trash and there are people who are good, yes? Yeah, 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 for sure. And so I do you feel like we live in a time, I mean, I do, but we'll hear from you. Do you feel like we're in a time where people get too many passes for skill sets they don't have? Um, nah, man. I, I, I think I think that the skill set shines through. I feel like, you know, if 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 even if something, even if something uh, doesn't have longevity or or a long lifespan. I feel that you know it hit that chord or struck that chord and, and evoked that emotion within that time period. And I feel like the kids today, it's a new rap too. Like it's like you know it's more melody driven. It's more. It, it's not. It's a different style. Yeah, it's a different style. Like. Yeah. And you can't. And some of these styles have existed before, whether it was Bone Thugs or even the Far Side who was singing and rapping. And listen, you know, Pharrell, Pharrell was talking last night at, at at the listening and said, um, "Man, you know, we were talking about you know new rap, old rap, or whatever." He was like, "Man, you know, I really love, I really love new rap, and I look at, I look at new rap, 
as jazz. It sounds like scat to me when I hear That's what when it is, I hear it, uh yeah. I think he said young thug. Yeah, mumble when I hear, rap. He's like, yeah, he's like when rap. I hear young thug, I hear jazz. I hear like, you know, takes forever to get to the uh, to the chorus or whatever like, you know, and and when he even likened it like that, I was like, damn. Now I, you know, I'm I'm not well versed in jazz, but I think from the what disconnect. I see and how I see it, I think the disconnect is that people don't want that to be misconstrued with bars and rap. They want that to be not that it's not hip hop, yeah. right? It's just a different. And I think some of the artists even will say, "No, nah, I'm not a rapper. I'm an artist," because they don't want to just be one thing. Well, I think that I, yeah, but I think the new wave in rap and the hybrid of rap. Mixes so many genres. I mean, I feel like it mixes R and B, R and B melodies. You know, it always rap has lyrics. though. It always has. It always has. Yeah, the focus was just more on content and bars. Now it's more melody. And I think that's why some younger artists like to refer themselves as only artists because they also don't want to help be held accountable. Yeah, yeah, to like the, those bars them. that they yeah. probably. Can't I think some of them to. suck at rap and they're just good at melodies. And okay. some of them are great rappers and great at melodies. Facts. Right, 100%. And, and so I think it's okay as hip hop if we want to point that out. And you don't have to like everything. I think that's the other part of it too. Like, right, it's okay in hip hop to be like, yo, I don't fuck with that. Right, I like this, or I like that, and not this, or I like all of it. Like, I f I feel like the diversity in hip hop is great, even though I don't fuck with all of it. Right. I mean, yeah, but you you know you different, man. You got like a huge platform. People like listening to you. So when you kill something, it's like. It means something when you kill it. You but, know that. Yeah, but nah. You gotta stop, I mean, bro. but he's you gotta, been... Yeah, mean, nah. mean, like, you gotta been chill a little though. bit. But I still play challenged. the record, though. If it's hot, I play the record and be okay. like, yo, this shit is doo-doo. Okay. But y'all like it. People want to be liked, e, bro. People like to be liked. Uh, they people do. Like, and and like you gotta... I, I seen your followers. You got mad followers, whoever you are. <laughs> <laughs> you get mad <laughs> double taps, man. Wow. You don't listen, need me. Push, listen. He's when a song is hot... He's just a rude, mean man. When a song is hot, he'll say Though. He'll say, "Look, I didn't like her, but the song is hot." Like, a and when it grows like, on you, does it ever grow on you? Sometimes, yes. sometimes it does, right? Do, yes. you, do you shout? Well, you know, no, 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 I do. I, I, you, you know, and I also do this. I, know, I also do this. If you listen to the show, <laughs> you I caught say, a lot of heat for my for my one of my favorite groups. Who you caught a lot of heat? And I, I Ray Shrimp. Yes. Well, they didn't write everything. Mike Will made it, and they got mad. What you mean? That's what they got mad about because I said, yo, y'all didn't write everything. Mike Will made some of that too. And then Mike Will was mad. Ray Shrem was mad. And then Complex said they had a top three album in 2015. I was like, nah, I ain't fucking with y'all. Nah, y'all don't have a top three a, album. That, I ain't doing it with you. Y'all ain't had a top three album. I, 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 and that didn't mean I didn't, because I, I like the album. I yeah, like that, the that's album. That's what I'm saying. It's just How not you like type the three. You doing all you shoot. It's not you top three though. You like you crazy. I mean that's how I am, man. Some you gotta shit, chill. That's that's sometimes why. you gotta burn it down. See, <laughs> bait bro, bait bro will burn it down. <laughs> bait bro will burn it down for the bait, baby. He sometimes is wild. you gotta be like, yo, man, I like it, but nah, it ain't three. <laughs> it might be 13, bro, 15, man. 18, 33. Man, not that's one three. Of my favorite. I see you say that, man. I said, man, why would you do that? No, I like them but he dudes, man. He didn't say that he didn't like them. He I just never didn't said say that. It was yo, yo, check this out. And I'm gonna, if we go all the way back, <laughs> y'all watching YouTube, because look, mm -hmm. we had them up here one time when they mm -hmm. first got popping. And I was like, yeah, dope, man. Let's get to these bars. You know, let's see what it is. They giggled and r literally ran out of the studio. This is before that. And I was like, oh, okay, they funny. They funny. Okay, all right, we're going to see how this play out. Wow. They funny. <laughs> and they had hits. Look, this new album's fire. Oh, it is? Fire. Do you say it? Not top three. Do you say Not top three. Bro, it's hard to have a top three album so, in the so, world. I mean, look. look, look I it's didn't make good, the rules. Though, right? I didn't make the rules. Get this guy, man. <laughs> Get this guy, rules, man. man. <laughs> Yo. Push. What's up, man? Daytona, man. Is yes. it a top three album? Daytona is a, Daytona is definitely album of the year. Rap album. album of the year. Street rap album of the year for sure. Album of the year for sure. Over for Cole oh, for sure. For sure. What do you think? I'm listening to it again. Listen I don't know if it's again, like Cole man, got listen, a fire body listen, of work. Listen, and Cole, <laughs> listen, Cole, one of my favorites. Straight up. Bar for bar, what do you mean? I mean, you Listen, said, what I do you say? My, I said Believe in me, Coles and Kendrick. But I mean, you know, it's 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 into what you like. You know, this is this is street 
high level luxury rap at its finest yeah. and on top of the production. Like you can AM, I, I want to AMB my album with everybody you thinks is great. So in that bar where you say believe in me, Coles and Kendricks. Yeah. And then you go on to talk about sock puppets. Let and- the sock puppets play with their roles and gimmicks. Shit. Remember Will Smith won the first Grammy? And they ain't even recognize Hove until Annie. Then you went on to say, I don't, so I don't tap, tap dance, dance with the crackers sing and sing Mammy. Because I'm supposed to juggle these flows and nose candy. Ugh. Who are the sock puppets? Come on, clickbait, bro. You know who they are. <laughs> I don't even listen, man. You're you not know. doing it today? You done on, with me? Yeah, I'm done you with done you, man. With me, man. I'm done with Yo, you, Yo, what we closing out with off the album? What we closing? <laughs> Let's play some. Um, oh, the games we play. One of my favorite joints from off the album. Why the is this one of your play. favorites? Um, I just, I, I feel like it... Um, Really harnesses the energy of the the nightlife and the street life, and um, that competitive club spirit is is car music to me. Mm. It's, it's, it's it's pull up, it's pull up, it's pull up in front of the club, hop out. Flex, and you all heard that? You heard flex. that? That's funk flex. Go crazy, right yeah, there. yeah. Go crazy. <laughs> Windows down. Talk. Oh man, flex is definitely gonna play this. Yeah. For Yo, sure. Push, I love you, brother. No, of course, Always man. Always good you, to bro. see you, man. Always. And and have you uh, before we let you go? Yeah. You will be doing more work in in uh, politics, or are you done with that and just focus on no. mass incarceration? Like, where are you at in that? Man, I, you know, I, I feel like um, at this time, I'm going to just be focused more on the prison reform, mass incarceration side. I don't really even know how to weasel my way into the political. And that's uh, not your interest. Mo- no, 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 it's not my interest. But, you know, when Obama was in office, we had like an end. Like, so we, you know, we up there, we doing cartwheels and that shit. And you're not you going to tap dance and sing I'm Mammy. Not, I'm definitely not going up there right now. It's not happening. But, you know. Um, Are you saying your brother Kanye West? Clickbait, bro. Come on, <laughs> man. Like, chill. That's, that is my brother, though. Yes, he's definitely Look, my brother. Look, we all got man. family that coon and tap dance every now and then. Bye, man. Bye, man. <laughs> Hot 97. <laughs>